Hey, 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 it's Sean Vaughn, and you are tuned in to My 40 Plus Life. And I have a fantastic show for you all today. I have the author of Man Codes Decoded, A Woman's Guide to Overcoming Manipulation, author LJ Hamilton. So I know you guys are going to want to join this conversation. So make sure that you jump in and share any of your thoughts and questions as it relates to our topic today. The only way that you can do that is you must subscribe to this channel. Yes, subscribe, click the like button, and comment. I am so thrilled and excited to have Arthur L.J. Hamilton here with me today. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. I definitely appreciate it. (laughs) Yes, so I'm ready to really dive into this book about Man Codes Decoded because even though I've been married for 20 years, Mm -hmm. I still feel there's some things that I could probably learn about my husband because he might be manipulating (laughs) me too in some instances. You think so? (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm going to plead the fifth on that just tell me about this book, Man Codes Decoded. Uh, Man Codes Decoded, A Woman's Guide to Overcoming Manipulation, is basically that. It's a guide for women to use as it relates to their dating life, relationships, any social interactions with men. It gives you insight on manipulative men, so you'll know what to look out for, the red flags you need to be aware of, the things you should stop giving the benefit of the doubt as it relates to men. Um, and that's just basically what it is. It's a guide the insight of a manipulative man so you'll know what to look for and what to look look out for okay so now that brings a question up in my mind Mm -hmm. how in the world would you know about a manipulative manipulative man are you manipulative how would i know personally (laughs) are you manipulative (laughs) lj um part of the book um part of the book is is more of a um It was redemption for me from that type of lifestyle. And so that's one of the main reasons why I wrote the book, because I was a manipulator for 10 plus years. Um, I was married. That didn't work out. It was a very traumatic situation for me emotionally, personally, spiritually. And so that kind of sent me in a downward spiral of manipulation Um, for every woman that I came into contact with, from my mother to relationships, I would manipulate those women in various ways. And so the book actually details and outlines that because it's various levels to manipulation and it's various types of manipulators. And so that was the main reason why I wrote it, one of the main reasons. It was kind of redemption for me. I had to get all of that out and share this information so women would not involve themselves with a man like I was at that time. All right, I like it. So now that makes me think, that the men who may be watching this, do you feel that there could be backlash? Or has there been backlash in the fact that you wrote this book? Do they I, think that you're a snitch? I always get some type of backlash. But then, <laughs> but then the guys that, that give me a hard time or give me that backlash, I ask them, do you consider, do you consider yourself a good guy? And they'll say yes. And mm-hmm. then I'll say, well, then you have nothing to worry about because this actually helps you. Because once you uncover the bad, then women would have greater insight as it relates to the good. Because right now, a lot of women don't know which one from the other. So when they know, okay, this is a manipulative man, I see the signs, I see the red flags, and then they see you, if you're claiming to be a good guy, then you should be all good because it betters your chances as it relates to meeting the quality woman that you're looking for. So, you know, if you claim to be a good guy, then you should have no backlash. Uh-huh. Now, if you're a manipulator, then, yeah, you're going to be a little upset. You're going to be a little upset. Okay. And so do you think that it is really hard for women to recognize the manipulators? Or do you feel that we know that they, are, they could be manipulating us, but we still move forward with it? I think it's 50-50. Um, I, think, um, I think a burden that women carry, and I'm not a woman and I never speak for women, but what I think a burden that women carry is always given the benefit of the doubt. Mm-hmm. I'm always trusting a little bit too much, always ignoring some of the red flags that you should pay the most attention to. So I think that's a burden that women carry as it relates to the men that they involve themselves with. If they really like this guy or they love him, they're going to give him the benefit of the doubt, certain things they're going to ignore. And then, like the book details, you have master manipulators who can kind of get around all of that. So you have to be extra cautious with these types of men because these men set it in their minds on a daily basis to wake up and hurt as many women as they possibly can. Wow. And so it's all, they're masters at what they do. Mm-hmm. I was a master at it, not because of what I had, because I didn't have much, not because of how I looked, but because of what I said and how I behaved as it related to women. Mm-hmm. And so when you run into a man like that, 
you have to be extra cautious and extra careful. So what is one of those characteristics? What, what was it that made you a master manipulator in just one? You, you have the sensitive manipulator who can kind of connect with you on, a, on an emotional mm. level. And it's something a sensitive manipulator knows what every woman, almost every woman, is looking for as it relates to connectivity with the man, intimacy with the man. He knows what to say, how to say it. Um, he'll master your love languages, anything and everything. Mm. He knows all of the tricks. So he'll seem like a good guy. He'll seem like he's sensitive. I, that was me. I mastered that, especially because I'm a poet, too. Okay. So I know how to write poetry <laughs> and love and all of that other stuff. And you kind of throw all of that in good qualities that every man should have. You mix all of that in with your bad qualities. Mm -hmm. You know, as a master manipulator, you mix it all in and women fall for it. Mm -hmm. And they don't know they're being manipulated until it's too late. And then they end up hurt. So do you feel that, especially with that sensitive manipulator, Maybe he set out to do that to a particular woman, but then there could have been a shift. Do you think that that happens with manipulators or they stay the course? They stay the course until they decide to change. Um, and, and that's the main thing. A woman will never change a manipulative man mm -hmm. into a great guy. Like, it'll never happen. He'll have to make that decision to change. It doesn't matter what she does. It doesn't matter what she says. It doesn't matter what she gives. He'll have to make a personal decision to change. And usually that decision is made when he has no other option but to change, mm. when he doesn't have a plethora of women around, you know, tending to his every need and different things like that. When he, when it's him by himself and he gets sick of that lifestyle because it's a very lonely lifestyle, he gets sick of that lifestyle, then he has to make that decision to change for himself. Nobody can make that decision for him. So it's nothing a woman can do. Mm. He has to come to that point of changing for himself. And okay, so there's nothing that a woman can do, but could there possibly be, could it possibly be that maybe now he's developed this reputation and it's kind of moving around and people know about it and so now he has to? No. No? Absolutely not. Some of the worst men that you could ever meet got seven or eight kids because women keep involving themselves. They know about him. They know who he is. But you always have that one woman that says, I can change him. Mm -hmm. And so they'll get involved with this guy and they think that they can change him and it never happens. The reputation doesn't. The reputation is good uh -huh. because the worse my reputation, the more women are going to be attracted to me. The whole nice guys finish last thing is a real thing. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. If I'm a jerk, like I was a nice guy prior to marriage, never had any women. I became a jerk after my divorce, had multiple women. Mm. And they knew I was a jerk. They called me a jerk. They called me arrogant. All of these typical names, but I, they knew my reputation. Uh -huh. But it's always something in a woman, I, I'm assuming it's a nurturing nature or a willingness to change that attracts them to predators because they think I'm going to be the one that change him. And it never happens. Or the challenge, because yeah, I too. know a lot of women who just like it because it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. Now, I believe women can be master manipulators, too. Absolutely. <laughs> Even more dangerous than men. <laughs> Exactly. They really can. The reason why I feel they are is because they like the challenge. So right. do you feel that that's a thing for the, the manipulators on the man's side? Do they just see it as a challenge and trying to see how many women they can get through? Is that what you want it to do? No. Nah. Um, a mass manipulator in most cases wants to hurt women because they're hurt. Uh -huh. And so because they want to displace that hurt onto someone else, they seek out as many women as they possibly can. Like in my situation, my ex-wife hurt me tremendously. And because I couldn't get back at her, I was gonna get back at every woman that I involved myself with because I was displacing that hurt and displacing that anger. The numbers, the numbers are the numbers. If I can do it to five, I can do it to 10, whatever. But it's more so because I want to hurt as many people, women as I possibly can because I'm hurt, because I'm not healed, because I want you to feel the way that I feel, because right now I'm targeting all women mm -hmm. and not just that one woman because I haven't forgiven her. I haven't moved on from that situation. So it's not really a challenge because manipulators know what type of women to seek and look for. So it's not really a challenge in that aspect. Mm -hmm. um, it's more so I want to get you close enough to me to where you develop some type of feeling so that I can hurt you in the end. And that for me is success, wow. unfortunately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ladies. How are you feeling about this? <laughs> Why don't you join the conversation and share with me, comment below what your thoughts are as to what LJ is saying as it relates to master, the master manipulators. Okay, so I do want to kind of take a look into your book, LJ. Okay. And so there is this one 
chapter or part, the dangers of attraction. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I have some uh, 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 insert highlighted here. It says the dangerous part of attraction is that manipulative men are drawn to hurt and vulnerable women who seek some form of validation or significance. Women who define themselves according to their relationships and what their man thinks about them. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this. Um, it's, it, you think about it like a predator. A predator is drawn to a prey that they know they can overcome easily. Mm. And so a manipulator has an instinct that when I go out, I'm going to find that one woman who needs that validation, who wears her heart on her sleeve, who's dealing with hurt and some type of emotional trauma herself. I'm going to seek her out. I'm going to find her. And that's who's going to be my target. And I'm going to easily manipulate her because she's, I'm going to be attracted to her because of everything else that she has going on that she may not wear on her face, that you may not be able to see it, but I can sense it. I know it because I'm a predator. So it's easy for me. It's kind of like, I always use the example, if you have two swimmers in the ocean and one is cut and bleeding out and one isn't, who's the shark going to attack first? The shark is going to attack the wounded victim. Mm -hmm. And so manipulative men are like sharks. We go out to social interactions. It could be a club, it could be a networking event, whatever. And if I'm seeking a certain type of woman, I'm going to find her. I'm going to see your injuries. I'm going to see your vulnerabilities. We're going to have a conversation and you're going to expose all of that. And you're going to open up the floodgates and then I'm going to turn the sensitivity on. And you're going to tell me everything that I need to know to manipulate you. So I think I want to say that that goes back to why you became a manipulator in the first place. Mm -hmm. The only reason why that I feel that you can seek out that type of woman is because you too may be having that same insecurity. Right. Yes. It, it, it's kind of like... Like attracts like, uh -huh. so I'm going through all of this on the inside of me, and in order to not have to deal with that, I'm going to seek somebody who's just as wounded, so that when I hurt them, I feel better about myself. So when I hurt them, I feel as though I'm getting back at the person that hurt me. Mm -hmm. So it's like we're both insecure, you know, we're both wounded, emotionally traumatic, and all of these other things, but I just know how to play the game a little bit better than the victim. And so I know how to manipulate her before I let her get too attached to me to where she has some type of power over me emotionally. So that's interesting because I feel like women are have progressed so much. Mm -hmm. There is a possibility that you may think that you are manipulating her, but she might be doing the same thing mm -hmm. to you. Has that ever happened? To like, me personally? Yes. No. <laughs> are you sure? I'm absolutely positive. She's so good you didn't even know it. Nah. I bet. No. Absolutely <laughs> not. Because it's, it's more... Um, when you become so emotionally guarded, you don't allow people to get close enough to you for that to, to even happen. And so I was very emotionally guarded, so it never happened to me because I wouldn't allow myself to get con It didn't matter how good she was, how nice she was, the game she was playing. It didn't matter. I wouldn't because I was so emotionally guarded. So, I mean, she might have been playing the game, too. And I'm not saying she wasn't, but it didn't affect me. Now, it could have affected somebody else, but it just didn't affect me, probably the way that she pl may have planned out, mm -hmm. because I didn't allow myself to become attached to that person. Okay, so that brings me to another question. So, I have been committed to this person who has been manipulating me, and mm -hmm. I finally figure out that that's what he's doing. What, what is it that needs to be done now that I have found you, out that he's who he is? You leave. And I know that's easier said than done, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you can't stay. Um, because you staying actually enables him and it empowers his manipulation. You have to leave. Um, I understand it could be marriage, it could be um, long-term relationship, children involved, different mm -hmm. things like that. But at the end of the day, for your own emotional well-being and overall well-being, you have to leave. You, you staying in hopes of changing him will never happen. He has to come to that point on his own. Wow. And usually that happens when he's by himself and everybody else has left him to deal with himself. Amazing. That's very good. So I know that you are over a Facebook group called Houston Black Dating 30 to 49. Yes, ma'am. What is it that you see men 40 and up are looking for right now? Um, <laughs> it's an amazing group, by the way. But um, men 40 and up, they are looking for, if they're actively looking, searching and wanting to actually be involved, they're looking for a woman that they can connect with, a woman that they can spend their time and hopefully the rest of their lives with. It just takes us a little bit longer to get to that point because of everything else that we've been through, because of whatever we still may be going through emotionally within ourselves, um, if we're honest with ourselves. But we're looking for commitment. It just takes us a little bit longer to get there because of everything else that we have going on. And until we deal with that everything else, it's going to take us a long time to say, hey, that's the one. Yeah. That's it. 
But a lot of guys are actively looking and wanting that person. They just have to find her, and then that person, they just have to connect. Mm -hmm. A lot of men are looking for women. A lot of black men, 40 and up, are looking for women who understand their love languages as well, who understand how to commu communicate with them, who understand, you know, give and take in a relationship. So, yeah, we're, we're looking for it. It just takes us a little while to get there. Okay. Well, now to close it out, mm -hmm. I want to make sure. So I know you were the master manipulator, but you said that was in your past. Yes. You took the time to correct yourself. How is it going for you now? It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> or are you still, are you manipulating? No, right absolutely now? not. Okay. No, no, I'm good now. I'm a good guy now. Okay. Um, it's going great. <laughs> you know, um, love, I think love is a beautiful thing and I celebrate love, especially black love. And so that's something that I, I deeply desire and I want in my life. And I want that relationship, that marriage, that future. I want all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, my first one, I say it didn't count. Um, so now I want, I want the next one to count. So, so that's where I'm at right now in my pursuit. I'm in pursuit of just lifelong love, marriage, happiness, and all of that stuff that comes with it. And you took the time to learn you. Right. And exactly. so now you have all of the information and everything to make sure that that next go round mm -hmm. fits and make and sure she's not trying to manipulate me exactly yeah. exactly absolutely thank you so much lj for joining me thank today you for this is me. a great topic i hope you all really enjoy this and you should definitely go out and get this book so you can learn a little bit more to see if you are being manipulated as a woman by some of these men out there mm -hmm. and women if it if it fits for you too make sure that you correct that because we need to make sure that we are doing what's best for each other, especially black love. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so make sure you go out and get this book, Man Codes Decoded by LJ Hamilton. Thank you once again. Thank you for having me. I always appreciate having you guys tune in. Make sure that you join the conversation. Let me know what you think about this Man Codes Decoded, men, male and female. Because, man, I want to hear if you think he a cinch. <laughs> Or if you think he talking the truth, okay? <laughs> Until next time, thanks for tuning in to My 40 Plus Life, and I will see you next week.